It all starts with a simple point, then a line, which then leads to beauty. Hi, my name is Dante Munoz. I come from you from the El Paso Community College, where I'm currently enrolled within the architecture department taking Design Studio 2 for the spring 2020 semester. And well, this is my project. So this project was very challenging since it's not a new building. It is a renovation of an existing building that the company owner had purchased. This company owner is a computer scientist that is the owner of his innovative software company and was in need of a design for his area, for his building to give it a new and original identity from the one that it was before. From that, he came to us with the approach to design an area for him where it would uh, fulfill his, both his visual and and uh, spatial needs. From that, we gathered information of what his visual needs were. He told us about his travels to Mexico City where he visited the Liverpool and Sugentes department store by Rojing Arquitectos where he really was engulfed by the experience that he had within that area and he wanted to bring that for his own accusation. On top of his travels, he has his own fascinations from uh, a female artist named Sandra, Sandra Fetingis. Her her um, art is very geometric in the sense that it has a mathematical method behind it and he kind of wanted that for his company or for his his building as well. He wanted it to not just be a, a simple building rather than it to have a story and to have meaning behind it and from that he wanted to have some type of geometric area within it because his fascinations are, are technology art and science. He wanted to find a way where we can combine all of his fascinations into one building and that was quite challenging at first. On top of it being a, a uh, renovation instead of a brand new building. On top of everything else was that he needed um, areas of leisure and uh, some form of vertical circulation to connect all of his floors. So he wanted to expand the amount of real estate that he had within the floors while also adding vertical circulation. So in a sense, that was another uh, design problem that we had to work behind or work with in a sense, because that's what the the owner is demanding. And that's why he came to us to give him a proposal of this design. In a sense, that's what the project would consist of. And that's what the project needs to consist of for the owner to like it. In a sense, that's where it all began. My design proposal is derived from my concept, which is the process slash method of transmitting information through circuit boards. When we, the user, are in need of completing a task ranging from downloading a file or sending an email, it's done through this component called a CPU clock. What the CPU clock does is it decrypts the task so that the CPU can understand it and it prepares that decrypted task to be distributed across the CPU. One of the components that is distributed to is called an oscillator crystal, which is made up of quartz crystals. And what this oscillator does is it receives that decrypted task in vibrations and prepares it to be distributed across in fixed numbers of volts. But before the distribution can be completed, it's ran through a higher grade of an oscillator crystal. And what that oscillator crystal now does is it receives those volts and it, and it distributes it in, in ways or in waves so that the CPU can understand it and handle it so that the CPU wouldn't overheat or malfunction in any way. So essentially that oscillator is what creates this gap of information being distributed and when it's being distributed, it's ran through this these obscure lines on our motherboard called uh, traces. And essentially that is the transmission of information through a circuit board. And from all of this, pulsation was created. My strategy for my design proposal began with my findings of a schematic representation drawing that illustrates the level of intensity of waves over time as you can see. I found this sense of harmony and balance in this drawing and I wanted to iterate it into my own design. We are now looking at my exploded isometric drawing illustrating my layers for the facade system. These layers were created by my iteration of a right triangle grid 
that is derived from the schematic representation that we saw earlier. This grid led to the units of each layer, which then led to the modules. As you can see, there are three layers which all follow my concept. The layer derived of unit X is representing the travel of information, unit Y is representing the transmission of information, and unit Z representing the quartz crystals. Alongside the illustration of the layers individually, you can see my facade system is, is on both axes, the X and the Y, since there is a continuity of the design to the ceiling of the building, as well as how I'm addressing the vertical circulation problem with my placement and design of stairs. Moving away from the exploited isometric drawing and into my facade elevation drawing, this drawing is very telling in a way that you get a better understanding of how each layer speaks individually and how there is a sense of harmony between each layer. With that, there is also my idea on solving the problem of having areas of leisure in such a confined space. I am addressing this issue through utilizing the space below the stairs and designing the stairs to use the least amount of real estate within the levels. As you can see, there is a difference in heights in, from the mezzanine level to levels one and two that are quite definite, which meant every foot was crucial. Now let's take a look into the building itself and see how powerful this space is and how telling it truly is. We are now within the interior space. I created this interior rendered animation in order to offer a better understanding of the space we had as designers to utilize. As the designer of this proposal, my intention was to create a space of parallax, meaning no matter what position one may be in, they do not see the same thing redone. I want the user to view my design and have this wow moment, becoming engulfed by the space and the volume of it. The one filling the space will have this sense of calmness and curiosity evoked by the composition of the shadows being casted, the building materials and the texture of them. These stairs will move the individual to seek and fulfill their curiosity. In my eyes, and not only because I designed this structure, pulsation is a true architectural experience. I strongly believe that my proposed solution is both meaningful and successful in terms that the concept is something that the client can relate to both professionally and personally, as well as the design in its entirety is something profound and captivating. I strongly believe that this will be the form of architecture for quite some time since building and designing a completely new building nowadays is not as economically liable or legitimate as it may have been before. Pulsation is my way of delivering something optimistic and spontaneous. I see it as a true piece of beauty and art, but that cannot be achieved without wanting to take risk and pushing the limitations of what the true meaning of architecture is. So I thank you for being along with me so I can show you my creation of what pulsation may be and what I believe the form of architecture will be in the coming years. Thank you.